welcome to the workshop. Dovetail markers come in a number of different shapes and sizes. This one is by Veritas. It's kind of in the, the idea of a saddle, I guess. This one is by Lee Nielsen. Probably one of the, the prettiest looking, I think. You can make your own, uh, and you can also use bevel gauges. I'll just show you very briefly how each of these are used. So let's say we wish to mark some dovetails on the end of this board. We've marked our gauge line. If we were using the Lee Nielsen, we need to choose our angle. And this is done as a, a ratio here. We have on this side 1 in 6 and on this side 1 in 7. So if we're working with softwood, we'll probably go for the 1 in 6. And that's simply placed, the brass stock is placed on the end of the work. Slip down tight and then we can mark either with a sharp pencil or if we wish to we could do that with a marking knife. When I mark my dovetails I tend to use a sharp pencil. To mark the other side of that dovetail we must remember to flip this over so we keep the same angle. And just mark our waist so we don't remove the wrong bit. The Veritas saddle marker, the, uh, the longer length goes on the end of your stock. And this one here, it's a 1 in 8 marker, so this would be more appropriate for hardwood. Again, sharp pencil. You can use a, a marker pen if you like. As I say, you can use a knife. and then we can use a bevel gauge. If we're using a bevel gauge you can set whatever angle you like. You may have a gauge set up which will give you one in six, one in seven. You can set your bevel gauge to exactly that and mark out your dovetails or you can simply eyeball it. Pick whatever angle you like. Once you've done a few dovetails you'll know roughly what the correct angle is for the wood you're working in. Once you've set your bevel gauge though, remember to keep it the same, otherwise your dovetails may look a bit odd. One of the advantages with some of these gauges is that they're supposed to give you the right angle mark to go across the end of your board as well. So you would mark the angle and across the end of your board. flip it round, the angle and across the end of the board. And that's the same with the Veritas as well.
if you've used the bevel gate then you should use the tri-square and square those marks round and you'll find that a lot easier if you would clamp your work in a vise. So now that board's all set up, ready to have its dovetails cut. So whichever you choose when marking your dovetails, the result should be the same. Hope you found this video interesting. If you have, um, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I will be doing a lot more videos which hopefully you'll like. And if you subscribe then you'll be notified as they get published.